You're watching WXTX Fox 54 Sports with Alexandra Vitale. Just four short days until that big BCS showdown between Auburn and Florida State. Today we began our BCS Bowl coverage and Dave Plata is at Newport Beach and has more on the Auburn Tigers as they prepare for Florida State. Remember back in July when all the media experts picked Auburn to not win the SEC West, much less the whole shebang? There are media experts and media experts. This morning, I bumped into a media expert that has a little expertise. David Pollock of ESPN, the former UGA defensive tackle, former All-SEC defensive tackle. And I asked him what he thought about the Auburn offense, the one that steamrolled everybody. As a former defensive player, he said, well, he didn't enjoy watching it much. Here's the thing, they usually do a good job of neutralizing better players. You know, like Tim Jernigan, number eight, is a baller for Florida State. I don't expect him to make a lot of plays because they're going to, by doing the zone read and the, and the read option and stuff that they do, they take away the ability. They can just read your guy or they can just, it's just, it, it makes it incredibly easy to, um, to take away your strengths. And it's just, it's tough. They use your athleticism against you if you want to overcommit to something. And you have to be exceptionally disciplined and exceptionally well coached and sound and you can't give an inch. And then, and then you got to just guess sometimes and be right. And so it's just, as a defensive guy, I'm watching tape and I'm just going, good Lord, this is just it's making my head hurt about all the stuff that they're able to do and make you defend. They make you defend the whole field. You're an analyst now. Yeah. Analyze who's going to win this one. I don't know yet. I still have some time. I, Florida State's better. I mean, if I'm going athlete for athlete and I'm going completeness of a team, offense, defense, special teams, there's no debate it's Florida State. But I've also come to believe that there is a horseshoe somewhere on Auburn that we just have to find it. I mean, I, I, so I'd say I'm leaning towards Florida State because of their athleticism, because of their completeness. But Auburn's played a lot of teams that are more complete than them, but their one dominant force has been so strong and so great that it's been able to carry them. From listening to Pollock talk, I think I've got a funny feeling which way he's going to finally land when he does decide to pick a winner. And I think Auburn fans are going to like what he has to say. Alex. All right. Thank you, Dave. Now, going along with our BCS coverage, I have this Auburn Tigers SEC Championship and BCS appearance football right here in front of me. Now, this is part of a special program that's being conducted to raise money for the United Way. Now, another really cool thing about this football here is there's only 5,000 of these footballs made by Rawlings and officially licensed. Now, if you're interested in purchasing one of these footballs, call 1-800-345-2868 or order online at www.nikcosports.com. Now, this is a, a limited edition football that comes with an upscale case all for only $99. And then in uh, recent years, we've been able to raise money. Um, more than $1.7 million for children's charity. So it's definitely for a great cause. And happening right now in the Big Easy, Alabama and Oklahoma. The Sooners leading the tide in the third quarter. Updates later on our sister station, WTVM Sports Leader 9. And that's a look at sports. Jason. All right, thank you very much, Alex.